Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to SGBC Children's Worship. I'm Auntie Grace, and I would like to welcome all of you joining us worship this morning. Now, before we start our worship, we should really prepare our hearts because we are here to worship God, and God wants us to give everything to Him, give all that we have to Him. So let's prepare our hearts to worship. Let us bow down our head and pray. Dear God, good morning. Let us worship you this morning. You are faithful and righteous, and you watch us all those who love you. You know that we, you know what we need, and you know what is best for us. You love us and care for us, and you listen to our prayers and fulfill the, the desire of those who seek your will. Let everything that has breath worship you. Let all of us praise your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So boys and girls, let's join me to worship this God that love, love us so much that he's willing to die for us. Jesus loves me. Let's sing it together. Sing with me, you know this song. Ready? Jesus loves me, this I know. measure how much he loves us and we want to talk to him every day like a friend like a best friend that we have and we want to seek him every day to see what his will is for us so let's sing this next song together to remind that we have to look and seek and ask God every day Ooh. 
last thought and seek his face. verse is from 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 let's read it together always be joyful never stop praying be thankful in all circumstances for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus at our Thanksgiving banquet this past Sunday, I was very impressed by some of you using your God-given talents to serve and honor Him. Now, how long do you think it takes for Burton to learn and do those yo-yo tricks? I can't really do it, but he did amazing. I don't think anyone can uh, do it the first time they open a package or the first time they play the yo-yo. Burton must have practiced over and over and over again until he can master the skill and do those tricks, and especially doing it on stage when so many people are watching. It's not easy. How about um, playing violin and viola? How long do you think it took Sophie and Solomon to practice their piece? I'm pretty sure they have done it many, many times in order to be perfect at it. And how about those people who do tricks on TikTok? Uh, some of them will flip water bottle and have it all landed upright or they will bounce ping pong balls in an obstacle course that they built in their basement and, and bounce it into a cup. Now, how many times do you think they have done that until they get it right? Must be many, 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 many times in order to get just one ping pong ball to bounce into the cup. And how about the best of the best, like professional NBA players? I read in the news that Stephen Curry, the best three-point shooter in the NBA, set a record on December 26, 2020 at practice. He made 105 consecutive three-pointers in five plus minutes. That means he shoot 105 three-point without missing one and in five plus minutes. Imagine how many times he practiced shooting the basketball until he get this crazy good. No matter what it is, what skill it is, or what you know, uh, talent that you have, if you want to be good at something, you need to practice, 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 and never give up. Which reminds me of today's Bible story about a poor widow and a nasty judge. This is how the story goes, and it's in Luke chapter 18. One day, Jesus told his disciples a story, a parable, to teach them about praying. Jesus said, There was once a poor woman who went to the judge to seek justice because someone had took advantage of her and made her suffer a lot. Now, the judge in her town was not a good person. This judge never feared God nor have any respect for God nor he care about anybody. Every morning, the poor widow would come to the judge and tell him how the person has wronged her and how much she was suffering. But the mean judge ignored her. She would come to the judge again and again, and she would keep begging him, saying, please, please make things right for me. Someone is treating me badly. Day after day, the judge refused, but the poor woman never gave up. Every day she come, rain or shine, hot or cold, whether there's long line or short line. She pastored him long enough, and the judge finally agreed to help her. He didn't really want to help her, though. He just wanted to make her go away. 
the mean judge said, I don't have any respect for God and I don't care about what people think, but this widow keep bothering me. So I will see that things are made right for her. This way, she will never come bother me again. After the story, Jesus told his disciple, please learn a lesson from this unfair judge. Even he decided to help the widow at the end. Even a nasty judge would do something good for the widow. So don't you think that our God, who is all loving, all fair, all just, will surely give justice to his people who cry out to him day and night? Will God keep putting them off? I tell you the truth, God will grant justice and help his people quickly. But how much of that kind of persistent faith will the Son of Man find on the earth when he returns? Now Jesus teaches us that God is nothing like that mean judge. God is always eager to hear our troubles and he's always want us to talk to him and he's always there to wait for us to talk to him and he will answer us in the right way. Have you ever been sad or have you ever had a problem and wanted to get help right away? What would you do when you feel like that? when you feel sad, when you're afraid, or when you have a problem. You would want to talk to someone, right? Now, sometimes people would keep their troubles inside and don't tell anybody. Have you ever done that? But here's the problem with that. How can anyone help you if they don't know what you need, if you don't tell them what you need? Jesus teaches us that God cares very much about you and me. And he actually cares for all of us. Unlike the judge, God wants to hear from us. And he wants to hear from us about how our day went and how things goes and what things we're worried about and afraid of and what problems we have. And sometimes you feel like God is not listening to you or he's not answering your pay prayer. But it takes faith to pray continually and to never give up. And if we kept, keep checking in with God about what is going on for us in our lives, then we will also be better able to hear and know from God how he wants to help us. So just as 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18 said, Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, because this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Let us bow head and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for teaching us how to pray and not to give up. Please help us to keep practicing how to talk to you and how to listen to you. Help us to have faith in you and to never give up on praying and asking you. Thank you for loving us, for caring for us, and for listening to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's do the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now last Sunday, October 9th, was Jaden's eight-year-old birthday. Happy belated birthday, Jaden. I hope you had a wonderful birthday and have a great time with your mom and your sister and your dad. May God bless you and continue to guide you. Happy birthday. So that's it for our worship today. If you want to join us for in-person worship and Sunday school, Remember to go to our church website to register uh, so that you can join us, so that we can calculate how many people there are. And we only have 24 spots, so first come, first serve. So make sure you register or ask your parent to register for you if you want to come join us next week. So I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye.